Are we live? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> no, how many days has it been since I've recorded something? I don't keep track. You don't, you're my manager. You need to keep track of this stuff. A week. A week. I don't know. Either way, I just want to start the video in front of my car because I don't even know if this car is going to be in the video today. But today's video is number one, an announcement for YouTube of my tune date, which is a week from today, September 14th, 9 a.m., be there, be square. <laughs> and also picking up two parts, picking up a downpipe. It's a parent downpipe, divorce wastegate. It's going to be pretty dope. We're going to check it out later. And then also picking up another front mount, which I will explain a little bit later because I have one down there. We're not using that one anymore. I'm doing a Perrin front mount intercooler. It's black, has all black piping, has everything I need for install. I'm going to explain all that stuff later, not using that one. But anyway, right now we're going to head out. It's like about an hour away. We're going to go pick up the front mount. We're going to check it out. It's going to be a good day. Let's get it. Are we live? Yep. Oh, wow. Yep. No, no, no. It worked out great. That was great. We just uh, met up with a guy with a front mount. I want you to know it's back there. Can you see it? Can we see it? It's all back there in that box. I don't even know where the core is, but we're freaking out here. Uh, that guy was dope. What the hell? Nice guy. He was super nice. And his dad came and then he was all excited about like my build. And we're talking about his build and we're freaking going back and forth. That was like a perfect situation. From me getting jacked with a Prius and then uh, meeting nice guys. That was awesome. Honestly, that's why Subaru forums so much better than Craigslist. They're actually chill. Yeah. Shit. Well, now we got another hour and a half back home. <laughs> Over. Mac Miller died. I just want to put. Oh my vlog. god. It's no, in the vlog. It's in the vlog. vlog. It no, I'm just going to say like RIP because that's like, that's a boy. That's a boy. High school. Moment school of silence. Let's just have a moment of silence because right. I'm actually depressed on already. <laughs> If you guys, if you guys actually fuck with Mac Miller, I'm actually really upset. I just downloaded his album like three weeks ago, and uh, now he's, he's back going, in the middle fuck. school days and high school days. Dude. That was the one. Yeah. Fuck. Well, we're gonna head back. Uh, we're also gonna pick up my downpipe. Hopefully, we're on the way home. Hopefully, it's ready. So a lot of, a lot of parts. A lot of parts coming in. You guys thought I was lagging it. I mean, it was for like a week. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. But uh, we're coming back. We're coming back. With a vengeance, we're gonna crash 100%. We're gonna crash. Here we go. No, the kit's clean. It is. It's oh really my nice. god. The, it's, the black looks super no, good. no, no, no. Black's gonna look great. We're gonna fucking it's mount really it up, key. ready to go. And then we're gonna get the downpipe ready to go. We're gonna do some clips with the downpipe. I am gonna have a check engine light because I'm not tuned for we're it. Gonna but it's gonna be fine. smelly. Oh, okay. It's okay. fine. Anyway, we're gonna head back to Santa Cruz and we gotta show you when we get there. See you in a second. Oh, blown out. Okay, Who's blown out? There we go. There we go. Is it blown out? No, we're good. Right there. There we go. Bro, I'm about to open this door. But just for now. Anyway, just got home. A little food. About to show you guys the intercooler. It's freaking. It looks like the other one, but it's black. And it came with a bone. Where is it? You oh, know? Can you see it? see it? Oh, it's right there. Can you see how thick it is? Yeah, it's pretty thick. See it? Let me see it. Whip it out. There's a big box. He Whip just. Get... He was a good guy. What was his name? Eric. Eric. Shout out Eric. Shout, Shout out to Eric. Eric. He was a good guy. And his dad. You no? Know? We're out here with. Look at this. Like. I couldn't pass up the deal, wow. so we had to do it. This is what some, is this? Some piping. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. It is some liner of some sort, you know? Wow, look at They even freaking bought this shit. Like the fucking Look at how good they are. Good people. Anyway, pair in. We're pair in. You know, honestly, this is, we're going to do a little compare and contrast of uh, my one that I have now and this one that we're installing. It looks thicker. Yeah, it's pretty wide. It's not as long, but it definitely looks thicker. Yeah. Anyway, do we have one more box? I don't know. It's like the couplings. We're out here. Yeah, we got cool. that little pair in. Pair in, couplings. couplings. Couplings? No, the couplers are the little, okay, those whatever. things. These things are just like the little T-bar ones. Yeah. And then, how is your boost tube? <laughs> you know? Shit. Where does this one go? Couldn't tell you. you oh, know? I like the red. Wow. That's good. We are out here. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good day. Well, I'm not 100% sure uh, where this pipe goes, but I'm pretty sure it goes there. We're gonna figure it out eventually. But here's the intercooler. All black looking. It's it's literally brand new. Has never been ran. Just test fit. Pretty soaked on it. We're gonna just mock it up, see if it actually fits. 
and uh, see what it looks like because I cut my bumper in the shape of the other intercooler that I had. So I'm interested to see how it's going to fit and how it's going to look. So we're going to do that right now. So thanks to my little bumper clips that make it really easy. A uh, bumper came off with no problem. Here's my old bumper beam that was for my old front mount. Here is a new front mount about to get put up. I think it's going to be super easy little install. See how everything fits. I'm pretty excited. Are you excited? So, yeah. Thank you. You don't seem excited. Damn it. <laughs> There it is. Are you going over there to fart? No. Everyone knows now. Everyone knows. Well, there it is. I got the dual intercooler Subaru. Where, uh, where, are you leaving? Are you going home? No. Okay. So that's, that's basically what we're working with. I'm going to put the bumper on right now to see what it fully looks like. But we are freaking wide with the intercooler. Feeling pretty good. All right, let's see the final product. All right, ready? Is it gonna fit? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing either. I have no idea what I'm doing. Bro, lift it up, dog. Damn. What is, oh, there, there, we there, there we go, there we go. There we go. Do you know? Oh, my God. oh. oh it's there. It's there. It's there. So I'm not gonna lie, there's a little bit of fitment issues. It's not even a problem, it's no problem, it's no problem. Okay, so like I said, this intercooler is a little bit thicker than the one that I have downstairs. And it's not as long, so the way that I cut the front like mouthpiece where the intercooler is exposed, um, you can see a little space on each side, which kind of bothers me. It obviously is not gonna do anything probably like performance wise, uh, but as just far as like aesthetically, I don't really like it, but I already figured out what I'm gonna do. It's gonna look really good. I'm gonna do that all tomorrow, basically fitting it up and making it look perfect. Um, yeah, so I'm not too worried about that. And then as far as the fitment here, though, it does look really good. Bow, looking baller, all blacked out, all stealth. Already kind of figuring out uh, the way that this thing is routed. Looks, honestly, like a pretty easy install. I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of modification to my intake. Um, might need to, like, trim this, make this come in, push it down. The, the, the pipe is going to go over, or I'm going to have to m either somehow mock up some sort of short ramp intake. Uh, to run that front mount because that is another problem that I'm probably gonna run into but as far as everything else I'm feeling pretty good on it all blacked out. It's looking good Now what we're gonna do we're gonna clean up here And then we're gonna head over to my friend's house and pick up the downpipe. We're gonna check that thing out and see what you guys think Okay, the part is at my boy's house. We're gonna head over there right now pick it up and uh, It's also my friend with the one Jay-Z Subaru. So let me check that out too. Can they see it? barely but you can see it. Can you even see the fact that it says, hold on, let's get the light out. Can you get the light out? Hold on. Pa Where's the parent? All right. Flip it. Um, Flip it. Nope. Flip it and right skip here. it. Nope, nope. There it is. There. Parina. Parina. Parina Maculina. Okay, so we got the downpipe, but we ran into an issue. Our issue is we need a bung. <laughs> we need a bung like um. that's what it is. I knew that I needed my wideband Because clearly I have a, a the triple pod gauge and it's waiting there and I I Should get it before my tune. I don't need it. You see yourself? Yeah, you can see myself. You I can see myself I mean I should be getting it before my tune because obviously it would be very helpful for tuning to look at it like right there. I know that when they tune, they just throw the little, basically the sniffer and the tailpipe. That's all I tested out, but obviously it'd be a little bit better to have one um, in the downpipe and just read it straight off the gauges. So that is my dilemma. I do need to get a bung welded into the downpipe and then hook up a gauge that I don't have yet. And I am running out of time, so this is kind of sketchy. <laughs> I have T minus six days and some change. I have six days and some change to get my downpipe installed with the bung and the gauge, get it all installed, make it, make sure everything works correctly, and install my front mount with all the piping, make sure all that stuff's good, and do my three port boost control thing, which obviously isn't a big deal because that's super easy to install, but I need to do all that, get this thing loaded up on a trailer and get ready to go at 4 a.m. all the way to snail performance, which is like three and a half hours away from my house. It's gonna get good. It's gonna get good in the next week here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was very long, but hope you guys are excited for all the new parts that I'm getting. And a bunch of videos should be coming because obviously I'll be working on my car for a long time. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to catch you guys in the next one. Should be good. Should we do downpipe or front mount first? 
Front Let me know. Up. Thank you.